Hey, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for coming to support all these great startups. Uh, my name is Ken Oglesby, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Knoxville Music Warehouse. But first, I'm going to back it up just a little bit and tell you a little bit about myself. I love music. I love to listen to music. I love to play music. This uh, picture behind me is a picture of me playing in a 90s cover band that I'm certain none of you have heard of called Hootie and the Brofish. Thank you. Uh, and I love to stand in a place and watch people play music. Uh, I remember my dad taking me to my first concert when I was five. It was the B-52s and the Pretenders. And let's just think about how funny that is for a second. Uh, I knew from that moment that going to concerts was going to be a part of my life forever. Um, I fell in love with it that day. Uh, and as I got older, my interest in local music began to grow. But being a local music fan in Knoxville was not the easiest thing, which brings me to the pain of being a music lover in Knoxville. Now, say I wanted to see who's playing this weekend to see who I'm going to go uh, watch play music. I would go to the paper, and there would just be a list of all these bands that are playing. There are so many choices. It was overwhelming, and you can't hold a paper up to your ear and hear what a band sounds like. Uh, and on the other side of that, from the band's perspective, I would go, once I found a good band, I'd be listening to them at a venue, and I would think, this band is incredible, but there are not as many people here as I would think that a band this good would warrant. So I was kind of wondering what the disconnect was there. Um, is it they just don't have enough exposure? Do people not know what kind of music they play? I, I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. But on the other hand, huge touring acts like these uh, that have all come to Knoxville or been pretty close to Knoxville have no problem amassing an audience. Like Zach Brown uh, was here at Thompson Bowling Arena back in January. The Avet Brothers sold out the Civic Coliseum uh, back in, I think, May. And Bonnie Vare, who headlines, uh, who has headlined Bonnaroo, thousands and thousands of people go to these festivals. Uh, show of hands, how many of you have heard of at least one of these bands? So pretty much every single one of you. Awesome. That's going to play well to my point in a second. Okay, now what about these bands? I'm not going to ask you for a show of hands um, because I don't want anybody to take the wind out of my sails just in case you do. Um, the Joy of Painting uh, has played Preservation Pub twice this year. Um, Ashley Monroe played Cotton Eye Joe's recently. And the Royal Bangs um, played at the Pilot Light back in September. Um, now you've probably maybe heard of only one of these bands. I'd be surprised if two, almost certainly not all three. Um, but they're all fantastic bands that, that I think everybody should, should hear about. Now, did you know that the three mega headliner bands that I told you about before have all played at the same venues of the bands that I just listed? Zach Brown played at Cotton Eye Joe's back in 2009. Uh, the Avett Brothers played at Preservation Pub several times in the mid-2000s. Uh, and Bon Iver, of course, played at the Pilot Light back in 2008. Now, when I tell people that, the resounding response is, man, wouldn't it have been great if I would have known that they were coming back when they came? Now they're uh, selling out arenas and theaters at 50 bucks a head for a ticket. I would have loved to have seen them in front of a crowd of 200 people uh, at one of these more intimate venues. And that is why I created KnoxvilleMusicWarehouse.com. Knoxville Music Warehouse is the best way to follow the local music scene. You can see what bands are in town here locally. You can see what bands are coming into town. And more importantly, what they sound like. We've got a blog section right here that, uh, that has samples of music of the bands that are here locally and also ones that are touring, coming through town. We've got a live music calendar that's curated by me. Um, we've got a fan pick section where, we, where we'll have people send in their pictures of concerts that they've seen. And iPhones can do amazing work. It's incredible how good some of these pictures are. Um, and we'll have featured posts of some original content and new uh, music from local bands. Now, I want to tell you a little bit more about the calendar, because the calendar is probably one of the strongest features that we have. Um, it's a curated calendar. It's constantly towing the line between being selective and being comprehensive, because um, I don't want to overwhelm anybody with, with too many choices. Um, but you can click on the bands and get more information about where they're playing, buy tickets and find out, uh, find links to their music so you can hear them before you spend your time and harder money to go see them. So how have we been doing since we launched back in April? Uh, well, as you can see, our, our internet traffic has, has enjoyed a pretty steady growth. 
Um, and the other two bits of traction here account for the, for the spikes in traffic. Um, we've partnered with Johnny Sexton, who you'll hear uh, here in a minute, um, and the Fox 43 Morning Show that Abby does. And they do a fantastic job, by the way, of uh, bringing the five uh, top concerts of the week every, every Friday morning. Um, and then also the one I'm really excited about is we've partnered with The Square Room to do a live music showcase on the first Wednesday of every month. So every one of you come out and see what, what bands are, are in town uh, on the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, we do well with, uh, with the 18 to 24 age group. That's, that's the vast majority of our internet traffic. Um, and it says 60% female and 40% male, but this is based on our, uh, on our social media subscribers, which that's about right where it's, uh, it is overall for Facebook and Twitter. So what does this mean for you, the audience member, that are here today? Well, first of all, if you have any interest in advertising with us, definitely come talk to me. I'll be over, uh, over there with my little table during the break. Um, and also, just come and see what it's about. Um, you can come talk to me, and, and I'll have a, uh, not live demo, but some screenshots that I can show you because of the Wi-Fi situation in here. Um, you can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, we'll have an email list that you can subscribe to here coming shortly. Thank you all so much for your time, and uh, stay tuned for John's session.